What's going on everyone? So, in lieu of Force Friday coming up soon, we just want to do a quick video of what some of the new stuff that we want to see for the new Star Wars line of toys, and also some little bit of stuff that we think is going to happen in the new movie, and a little speculation, some, yeah, a little speculation, a little out, yeah, you little know. stuff I've read on the internet, which may or may not be <laughs> true, but you know, I just want to bring it up because I, I think it's funny and I think it's something we should talk about. Absolutely, I think. So, I think it's all starting this Friday this with Friday. the with the Force well, Friday. It's starting Friday, September fourth. Well, I guess Thursday night at midnight, which then turns into Friday. So twelve oh one. September. So it's September fourth, right? September fourth. Yes. Which is Force Friday, and that's when they're going to be doing all the live events of all the new Star Wars toys being opened up worldwide. And I think a new trailer reveal. A new trailer. I think the final trailer. You know what? I think they're going to. Aren't they going to do a new trailer for uh, Battlefront? Oh, they can do that isn't too. It, isn't that coming? Yeah. Uh, isn't that coming uh, up Battlefront well? yeah, is yeah. November. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So. so, first of all, let's talk about some of the new toys that we think are going to come out. Mm -hmm. um, the biggest thing I'm excited about is like, I've never really gotten to the Black Series, but I know it's a big, I know it's a big Star Wars thing for people to collect, like the action figures. That I, I even know that Walgreens has exclusive Black Series figures, so I know it's like a big hit when all the new stuff comes out. So I'm really excited to see, you know, what they come out with, all the new characters. Um, obviously, it'll give a hint into some of the other characters that we might see in yeah. The Force Awakens. That's going to be a big thing, too, is that once all these toys drop, it, it could be like a slower rollout, you know, because uh, they've already revealed a bunch of the characters that yeah, are going to yeah. be in the movie, and that'll probably be the only toys that you see yeah. uh, coming up on, on, on the 4th. Uh, just because, like, you know, we still don't know who Frank Langella is playing, you know, um, there, there's a couple other people that are in there that we really don't yeah, know who they know. are. And to reveal them this early would kind of be, Ruined you know, it. a little bit yeah. faux pas. And we know J.J. Yeah. Abrams, he's super secretive, yeah. super so subterfuge. Maybe, maybe they know? won't drop, like, really, uh, like, key characters to the movies yeah. just yet. But also another thing, uh, I want to think of, like, maybe, like, the new Funko Pops are going to be coming mm -hmm. out soon. Like, so I know Walgreens is going to have a lot of Funko exclusives, like I know they have like a Spiritual Yoda and a couple other ones coming out, and also Hot Topic is going to be having a bunch of new Star Wars stuff as well, and I think a lot of it is going to be Funko related, so be sure to check it out, but they're not going to obviously be open at midnight, so they're going to be open normal hours on a Friday, so like 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock whenever yeah. your mall opens. Toys R Us will be open at midnight, yep. and uh, Wal to uh, Walmart. Walmart, Walmart will be open, Target. obviously. And, oh, and Target, yeah, 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 will be open, yeah. Um, if there's any other big stores, uh, make sure to comment below, let us know. I please think, comment. Please, yes. <laughs> so, we must know. Next thing we want to get into is possible storylines uh, in the movie. Like, Talk about the movie a little yeah. bit. Um, one of the things I saw online, and like me and, me and my buddy were like kind of tossed around a little bit, is that Luke is actually a Sith, not a Jedi. Like, somewhere in the line, he somehow becomes a Sith. I don't... So, that's we know that his father, Anakin, was corrupted by the dark side. Yeah. Luke. Father like son. Like father like, like yeah, like father like so son, and then could just possibly become, yeah. uh, you know, maybe it drove him crazy, you yeah. know, uh, watching. Maybe. Well, he had, here's a guy who has watched everyone that he loves die. His adopted parents, his father, his mentor, uh, his his trainer, you know, another father figure to him, Obi Wan. I mean, yep. so maybe it just snapped something in his brain, and he kind of, and he's in hiding. We we think we believe yeah. that he's been in hiding uh, since the fall of the Empire in Return of the Jedi. Uh, so maybe you know he just kind of started because we know messing with the dark side. Because they've already talked about how a lot of stuff like the games, the books. Uh, aren't gonna like that? None of that really even happened anymore. So like something like Jedi Academy, the expanded uh, universe Forces, stuff. Yeah, like none of that actually happened. Yeah. So the Timothy Zahn, yeah. heir to the Empire novels, which yeah. were for so long considered you know unofficial canon yeah, and yeah. and are so popular, wiped clean. So uh, starting this fall, they're gonna have all all the new comics and all the new books and probably TV like TV shows and stuff like yeah, kind of cartoons. Because yeah, yeah. right now the only thing that's canon is the prequels, the original trilogy. Rebels and Clone Wars. Yeah. Everything else? Doesn't happen. Didn't happen. Uh, another point I want to talk about is Han and Leia's kids. Now, one of my theories was uh, the girl that you see in the trailers, who, like, in the first and the new trailer... Daisy that, Ridley, yep. who plays a character named Rey. And I thought that that was going to be Jaina, one of Han and Leia's twins from the books. 
Now they may they, they may not even have kids that, and now. You never you know we don't know because you know like the know. book they, that was all you know that wasn't it wasn't there like yeah. it happened. And that's from the Timothy Zahn heir to the yeah. Empire. And uh, also series. like the the other twin name was Chase, so it's like Jaina and Jace. So they they may or not even be in this in the movie universe yeah. anymore. They may or may not exist. Uh, there may be nothing about them. All right. So the next thing we wanted to bring up was Han's sacrifice uh, in the movie. So. Now, Okay. Yeah, so okay. this is a theory that I have. Um, I do believe that the only character that's going to last all three movies is going to be Luke. And, you know, I can see, that. I see, can see that. C3PO and R2D2, of course, you know. Yeah, yeah. But I think the only character that's going to last all three of them is Luke because I think he's the cent center part of the story. Yeah. And I, mean, I kinda, think maybe Leia as well. Yeah, yeah, probably. Especially yeah. if it plays out with him kind of uh, taking to the dark side. Yeah, but uh, I think it would definitely, definitely uh, uh, support. Because we know, because we all know that Leia does have that innate, like, uh, like the Force, like within her. Because mm -hmm. she, you know, she picks up little things here and there, especially in like Return of the Jedi, where she can like hear Luke, and even a little bit in Empire Strikes Back, mm -hmm. like how she was able to find Luke she, after yeah. he fell through like the shoe after he you know, got his arm chopped off, and yeah. not, a hand, not arm. His hand. <laughs> um, so, and also it would stay with the tradition of the first movie in each trilogy. Featuring the sacrifice of one of the main heroes, yeah. uh, of course, in uh, Phantom Menace it was Qui Gon, and then Who, in. By the way, we have a conspiracy on Qui Gon. We'll, we'll get to the conspiracy on Qui Gon, uh, and then in A New Hope was Obi Wan, Obi -Wan, Kenobi, yeah. Obi -Wan Kenobi. Um So I think it plays into that, and I really think it's going to happen. Fingers crossed. You heard it here first. Han Solo dies at the end of The Force Awakens. Yep, and you know, he even mentioned in the beginning, like, when Episode 7 all, like, the movies are coming out, that he wanted to go out in a way that, you know, he, he wanted to, to go out in the first, like, reboot of the movie in a cool, like, heroic way. So, expect to see something, like, major happen with Han Solo. It'll be awesome. It'll be awesome. They get so, back there, they get back to the Millennium Falcon, they go into a big fight, and... Boom. That's it. Yeah. Um, also, another so, thing, we wanted to bring up something about... They are the, the like this. What you say, like stormtroopers that you see? They are not stormtroopers. Yes, the members of the first order in the big white stormtrooper esque uh, uniform. They are not stormtroopers. Um, I think what the story is going to be there is that uh, obviously the empire is broken up, yep. um, and this is just and the first order is kind of like a, a like like remnants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The also, guys there, who, who a, made it off the yeah. Death Star before yeah. and everything like that. There was a big thing that we saw, like, uh, actually Star Wars, like, on Twitter actually responded to about how people were saying, like, oh, why doesn't this female stormtrooper, or whatever you want to call them... Captain Phasma! Yeah, why doesn't she have, like, some super, like, feminine armor? And they, they replied, like, she's wearing armor. It doesn't have to be feminine. Yes. Just because she's a girl doesn't mean they have, she has to wear girl clothing. So I'm really glad that, like, they actually took mm -hmm. that stand on Twitter. So good job, Star Wars. Like, that was awesome. Yes. And um, also, I, I think it was JJ who, in the Comic Con panel, who they asked why they changed the stormtrooper uniforms, and he said they're not stormtroopers. Yeah, also yeah. said that Kylo Ren is not a Sith; he's part of the Knights of Ren. Yeah, so yeah. that'd be interesting to uh, check out. So uh, the last thing we wanted to talk about some fun stuff. We wanted to talk about some conspiracy theories that we've seen. Conspiracies. Conspiracies. The maybe internet always has good conspiracy theories out there. Yes. So let, maybe you've seen some of them floating around. Uh, one of the more famous ones is E.T. Is a Jedi. Is a Jedi. Now, I watched something on YouTube a little while ago, and I read some interviews, and it's pretty much, it goes, like, think, because in episode, was it episode three, when they're doing the whole big fight, like, Yoda and, um, well, and for Palpatine are, like, in the fight yeah. in, the, in the room, like, the control When room. they vote to yeah. give uh, Senator Palpatine the emergency powers. Yeah, yeah. One of the groups that uh, votes was, was that episode three? Was that two? Probably two. Two. Okay. One of the groups that votes is a group of ETs. The ETs. Whatever, the, whatever what, they're called. Whatever their race is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why we think that you know you get the whole ET movie. Like there's times where he like kind of looks like he's getting like manipulating people. And the whole how he's like flying a bike through the air. And it looks like he he's kind of like heal people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he's kind of like I, I had a feeling that ET like he wasn't as kind of like as dumb as you might think he was. Like oh like he's this cute dumb alien. No. He's really in hideout, and he's just acting that way to kind of keep the lure away from himself. So you know, in case somebody's coming after him, they don't know where he is. Right. Just like Yoda did in Empire Strikes Back. Yeah. Remember when? And kind of like Obi Wan. Think about it. Obi Wan. He was hiding. He was hiding away on Tatooine. Yeah. No one even knew. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 
Um, another Dang one, Kenobi, another, yep. another conspiracy theory that I saw was I had a big conversation with my buddies about this. I saw some rumors on on the internet. Was that Qui Gon Jinn? was really a, like a double agent. He was secretly a Sith and he knew, he's talking about how he knew that Anakin was gonna be like, you know, the top dog, like the game changer and the whole like balance of the force. And that's why he wanted to train Anakin. And even after he died, he like, he, he you know, manipulated Obi-Wan into continuing his work. And then through that, you know, it led up to everything that's happened throughout the movies and the whole like, the shift between the force. Twice. The council denied Anakin to train, and he still did it. And Obi Wan and uh, uh, Qui Gon convinced Obi Wan enough to continue to pursue it. Obi Wan took it outside of the Jedi Council. They finally said that they that they uh, will make him a Padawan. I believe after the Battle yeah. of Naboo. Yeah, yeah. Right. And uh, so yeah, I mean, the, the, this is the first time I'm hearing about this yeah, one. We I had a long conversation. So, this and it was just like our minds are just like it makes sense though right it makes yeah, sense you know when you think about it you're like man like he you know he really did do that and he really coerced obi-wan into believing him and what if everything you know that was set up this way like what if what if what if qui-gon really let darth maul kill him on purpose kind of like how obi-wan let darth vader kill him on purpose yeah think about that also, mind explosion. I also everywhere. have something I also want to show you that I just recently picked up, and it's the Star Wars Funko what? Two Bag, Do Bag, and Sand Trooper. Got that Do Bag. Yes, I named him Dewey the Do Bag, by the way. So that's his name, Dewey the Do Bag. Dewey the Do Bag. Yep, and the Sand Trooper. So I found it at Walmart, twenty dollars. Uh, I saw people posting on like uh, Facebook and all the other stuff, like, oh, the Two Bag we found. And I was like, I need that in my life. I need that do bag in my at, life. And look at how trooper. awesome the sand trooper is. He's got sand all over him. Like sand. A lot of detail, everything like that. Yeah. Very I'm gonna cool. Be doing, Very I'm cool. going to be doing an inbox, or out of box review of this, so be sure to be on the checkout for that. Exclusively at Walmart? Exclusively yeah, only at, at Walmart. Walmart. So, cool. Well, I'm looking forward to, to it. I couldn't be any more excited. Uh, oh, I'm super okay. excited about Force Friday, about all the new toys and yep, everything. Yeah, a couple days from now, yeah. Uh, it's a great time to be a Star Wars fan. Oh, man, it, it definitely is. And, you know, everyone thought that Jurassic World was going to be the biggest blockbuster of the year. No, 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 no. no hey, I, you know what? I love Jurassic Park. I love Jurassic World, but you can't be. There's no way you're going to be Star Wars. Even, even Marvel can do that, I don't think. I'm going to make a prediction right here. A billion dollars opening weekend. I don't know about I'm just kidding, I, I don't know about yeah. billion. Well, I can see like maybe maybe I, if you take Avatar, worldwide, what Avatar get on opening weekend. If you take it worldwide, Jurassic World did three hundred something. I can I see think. Star Wars doing four or five. Four or five hundred worldwide. Half a billion. I go, oh, half yeah. a billion. Five hundred mil. Big time. Big time bucks. So make sure to comment below. You know what do you think of our conspiracies? You know everything else like that. What what kind of stuff do you want to see come out on Friday? Um, like just comment below, let us know, and make sure to follow the Toy Circle on all our social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr, all known as the, Do or the Toy Circle. And be sure to subscribe, and like our videos, and watch our other videos, and comment, and yeah, we're excited. Watch everything, subscribe to everything.